Hey everybody. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions as to why I keep this MPC 1000 and um, you know why I don't update to the Renaissance or or any other any other new MPC or any new beat machine that's come out. And there's a certain function in here that I haven't been able to find in any other uh, sampler uh, as of as of this far. And if there is one out there that I'm not aware of, please put me on. Um, after the video and uh, let me know. But this is something that I use every day. I use it to um, probably for everything. Uh, basses, snares, kicks, all that. Um, so anyway, it's a uh, this is this is uh, the JJOS XL version of the MPC. So this isn't the store-bought version that you get when you get the MPC. This is this is a um, uh, an OS you have to go online and get from a, uh, a different creator um, which is JJOS and, and if you want any information on that um, just send me a message and I'll, and I'll put you up on that but uh, in the meantime uh, I'm going to show you why I haven't switched and this is the main reason why so uh, let's get into it <clears throat> okay so I already have a beat set up here and in this beat um, there's a few different things that I want to cut out and, and the main reason why I use this function uh, and, and and basically what we're going to use is the loop function in the edit mode. It's in the edit trim mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my mode, blinking light, and go to pad 6, trim. It's going to bring up my sample. Okay? And right now I just have it labeled as sample 2. That's just how I have it. Okay, now in this function there's something called loop off and on. Now We'll get into that in a second. So, right now my, my, my beat is this. Okay, now in this beat, I have a snare, which is basically right at the end here. And I want to get to that snare right here. Now there's something right after it, so I'm going to chop it. I don't want this, obviously. Now as I'm chopping, you see the end of it, I don't want that snare to just stop. Snare. I don't want a snare. I want it to kind of, you know, have a, have an, a longer end to it. And I, we call that the tail. And uh, um, I want to add that without having to time stretch or add a reverb or delay effect. And with this, this is where this comes into play. I'm going to set my loop on. And it gives you three different functions on here. It gives you a full, it gives you a forward, a loop. So it's basically going to go forward, backward, forward, backward. That's what the alter is. So it gives it that mode, and it gives you a crossfade, which is the one I pretty much use all the time. Now, now that's going to be my tail. So I'm going to go back to where my snare is. I'm going to place it somewhere, doesn't matter where. Now, this is where you have to go to your functions in your program mode. Your attack, that's going to be obviously your attack. Your release, now this is where this, the, this function is really fun to use. Now the more you add your release, the longer the snare is going to play out. Slow that down. Totally different effect now. So, now I'm going to turn it off so you get the idea. That's my original snare. I'm going to go back, turn my loop back on. Now, I'm going to try it with a different sound now. So you kind of you get the idea of what I'm talking about. Go back into my Okay, let's say I just want that little piano at the beginning there. Mm. 
I just want a little bit of it. Not even that much. I just want maybe about... Let's say I'm working with that much. Okay? Now do I want a forward one? Let's see. Gives it a whole other effect. Turn this into your program, and now you're working with a piano. Okay, so what you're going to do is So you got your options. You could either go forward with this piano, have it kind of do a forward-backward effect. Let's see how that sounds. Again, it's kind of like an echo effect when you use those when you use those first two it seems to give you more of an echo effect. Now when you do the crossfade, still kind of an echo, but last function I'm going to show you, which is really cool to work with after you've done these two things, uh, or three things or whatever, is uh, mode, slider, you're going to go over here to your level or filter. you got the filter mode you can mess with. Another one's a level, which will, you know, um, give you an up and down effect with the volume. It's, 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 it's more of a volume up and down effect that you're working with. So you get the idea, and this is something, like I said, I haven't been able to find this in any other function um, when it comes to uh, different samplers. I haven't found any samplers that have this uh, function. So if anybody out there does know about this, if you have any questions about what I've explained and or don't understand what I was talking about, how to use this function, uh, please give me a uh, comment or a question and I'll uh, be happy to answer it for you. Um, again, this is the loop function in the MPC 1000 and 2500 are only ones available with this in when you get the JJOS. Uh, the JJOS is only available for the MPC 1000 and the MPC 2500. Um, so, again, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer for you.